So even though I work at a greenhouse, I've never really taken the time to start my own seeds. It's always been done for me in a production greenhouse. That's what we're gonna take a look at today. Now one of the reasons I decided to start doing some of my own seeding is I couldn't find the tomato varieties that I liked. And believe it or not, a little packet like this, there's probably only about 20, maybe 30 seeds in there. But still, you're gonna save quite a bit of money doing it on your own, seeding it, rather than buying the transplants done for you. What you're gonna to wanna to do after you get the seeding done is make sure that you keep the soil moist. You can also put a sheet of plastic over it to create like 100% humidity, which is important for germinating the seed. So not only do you get to pick your own varieties when you do seeding, our short growing season is the other reason. You can get things like peppers and tomatoes growing early because we do have such a short growing season. The other important consideration is how much light the seedlings are gonna need. When they're germinating, they don't really need any light. But as they germinate, if you're in an open area, like we have the benefit of a greenhouse, no problem, you're gonna need artificial light. So it's not only vegetables that you can pick to start seeds, there's so many different flowers that open up a whole new world for you in your gardening. So we're off and running for this year's plant talk season. Next week, we're gonna take a look at some of the options in succulents, a great trend that's happening. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week.